AutoCAD provides a number of 3D viewing and navigation tools to help you navigate through 3D models and set up specific views. The 3D Orbit command lets you use your cursor to rotate the view in 3D space. When 3D Orbit is active, the target of the view stays stationary and the camera location or point of view moves around the target. However, it appears as if the 3D model is turning as you drag the cursor. Also, when you use this tool, the cursor changes to a special 3D orbit cursor. There are several different ways to use this tool. The simplest and fastest way to use the 3D Orbit command is to press the Shift key and the middle mouse button or roller wheel simultaneously. AutoCAD immediately activates the 3D Orbit command in what is called Constrained Mode. In Constrained Mode, you can orbit around the model fairly freely, but you cannot go past Vertical so you can orbit around the model until you are looking down on it from directly above, or you can orbit until you are looking up at it from directly below. That is actually quite a handy feature. One of the nice things about being able to use the 3D Orbit command in this way is that you do not have to click any buttons in the ribbon. You can orbit around the model even while another command is active. While that is true for the other ways in which you can use this tool, it just seems easier when you use 3D Orbit this way because when you let go of the Shift key or the mouse button, you immediately resume the command. Of course, you can also activate the 3D Orbit command by clicking various tools in the ribbon, and those tools provide some other options. Switch to the View ribbon. In the Navigate panel, click the Orbit tool. If you do not see this panel, remember that you can right-click a tab and choose Show Panels, Navigate to display this panel. When you click the Orbit tool, you can click and drag to rotate around in 3D space in constrained mode. When you are finished orbiting, press the Escape key. In the Navigate panel, expand the Orbit Split button and select Free Orbit. This also activates the 3D Orbit command, but now it is in what is called Free Orbit mode. In Free Orbit mode, there are no restrictions on your movement within the 3D model. Thanks to the View Cube and the grid on the XY plane, you can still figure out where you are in 3D space, but it is much easier to lose your bearings when working in free orbit mode. When working in free orbit mode, the green arc ball can help you reorient the model. Notice that when the cursor is inside the arc ball, it appears as a small sphere surrounded by two ellipses. If you click and drag when the cursor has this appearance, you can manipulate the view freely. When the cursor is outside the arc ball, it appears as a small sphere surrounded by a circle arrow. If you click and drag, you can rotate the view around an imaginary axis located in the center of the arc ball. When the cursor is directly over the circles at the left or right, the cursor appears as a small sphere surrounded by a horizontal ellipse. If you click and drag, you can rotate around an imaginary vertical axis. And when the cursor is directly over the circle at the top or bottom, it appears as a small sphere surrounded by a vertical ellipse. If you click and drag, you can rotate around an imaginary horizontal axis. Again, when you are finished orbiting, press Escape. There is also a third mode. Expand the Free Orbit Split button and select Continuous Orbit. Then click and drag and then let go to start the view spinning. The view will continue to orbit until you stop it 
by either clicking again or by pressing escape. Expand the split button and switch back to the orbit mode before you get dizzy. When the 3D orbit command is active, you can right click to change various settings. For example, you can switch between a perspective and parallel projection. In a parallel projection, parallel lines remain parallel, whereas in a perspective projection, parallel lines appear to converge as they recede into the distance. A parallel projection makes it easier to work with a model since all edges of the model appear the same size regardless of their distance from the camera. But parallel projection is not how you see objects in the real world. So when you want to generate a more realistic view of the model, switch to a perspective projection. There is one more feature to consider when using the 3D Orbit command in any of its modes. If you select objects before starting the 3D Orbit command, when you orbit, you only see the objects you selected. This can be extremely handy when trying to work in complex three-dimensional models.